Hello, I am Dr. Amitabh Banerjee. I am professor and head DY Patel Medical College. I was an epidemiologist in the armed forces and I am also author of the book COVID-19 pandemic a third eye which is available from Amazon. Today we will be discussing about three types of immunity, innate immunity, natural immunity and vaccine induced immunity. Innate immunity is something which a person is born with person not exposed to the virus or not exposed to the vaccine, particularly young children, young people, they have got some innate immunity. With re reference to COVID-19, this innate immunity comes in due to three reasons. The young child does not have adequate number of ACE2 receptors in the lung. This ACE2 receptors in the lung is the site where the virus attaches. So, because of lack of adequate number of ACE2 receptors, they cannot be viral load in children. Secondly, the children have got very active thymus gland which produces the T cells and other immune cells. So, they have got a thymus gland which acts as a barrier to fight and fights the infection. And thirdly, they have got a very high melatonin level. This melatonin level also acts as an immunity booster towards the viral infections like COVID-19. This is about innate immunity. Secondly, it is the immunity gained after a person recovers from a natural infection. So, when the virus enters, the immune system produces antibodies and the T cells and the memory cells in the immune system, they get primed. So, the marker of a natural infection and a person recovers, the IgG antibodies persist which shows that the person has experienced the natural infection and after some time, even after the IgG antibodies fall down, the memory cells and T cells are primed even after months or years if the person is exposed to the same virus, it immediately mounts the immune system. So, even the failing antibody level does not mean the per person has lost uh, immunity against the virus. And they have done studies in Israel which has shown that people who have recovered from natural uh, immunity, they have got 13 to 27 times more robust immunity compared to vaccine immunity. So, uh, per, there is no scientific reason as on today to uh, recommend vaccination from those who have recovered from natural infection. And third type of uh, immunity is the vaccine induced immunity. Vaccine induced immunity, vaccine also mimics the natural infection, but instead of the whole virus, only a part of the virus or a program is sent which only makes us part of the virus like the spike protein for instance and the body produces antibodies against that spike protein or the T cells and memory cells spike against the particular spike protein or uh, another type of vaccines are where the whole virus is inactivated. So, inactivated virus is injected and the body produces the. So, this vi uh, in, uh, vaccine is given once at the most second dose is given after few months and a booster may be given after few months and only a portion of the vac virus or the inactivated virus. Whereas, a person who gets the natural infection, the whole virus, the live virus is in the body for almost two weeks. So, definitely it stands to reason also that the immune system is more exposed to the natural infection, it will definitely have a more robust immunity and therefore, the, the science also says that. So, keeping uh, to sum it up, uh, we have got innate immunity, we have got vaccine induced immunity and we have got natural immunity and natural immunity is most robust and particularly when we consider children. Children have got two protection, one is the innate immunity, other is the natural recovery from natural infection. Uh, last year in September, the Delhi survey showed that more than 80 percent of children had IgG antibodies and that time vaccines was not rolled out for children. So, therefore, one can and other parts of the country also showed the young people before the vaccine rollout below 18, most of the group age group below 18 years had 80 percent, 80 percent of them which almost this is called the herd immunity, a population level immunity like 80 percent uh, people have got natural infection. So, 80 percent of children are already immune with robust immunity which is 13 to 27 times stronger than vaccine induced immunity. So, for children there is definitely no indication for vaccinating children. Firstly, they have got innate immunity and 80 percent have got natural immunity. Those who are left from maturity may be innate immunity. And therefore, 
other way we have to see the risk benefit ratio. So, there is no extra benefit for vaccinating a child and the risk we can extrapolate from studies from data from Australia and other countries where they have found that if 1 million doses of vaccine is given they can be 13 to 14 uh, number of adverse events one or two ending in death and a risk of a child dying from COVID-19 is also one or two in a million and that too in a child who has got some comorbidity. So, therefore, logically and scientifically a healthy child there is no indication of a vaccine. If a child is comorbid, it vaccine may be considered in consultation with his or her pediatrician. Thank you. This is the message I wanted to convey. Thank you.